Hello, this is Vulturefire, and this is the start of a new Breach Wanderer save. This run, uh, this playthrough, my plan is to just hit all of the quests. Uh, I, my goal is to show every single run that is involved. So we are starting at the beginning, and this is um, this is a uh, the the opening route and run. So I'm gonna turn on fast mode because. Of course we are. Eh, I'm gonna misclick everything because that's what I do. This is not gonna be a speed run, but <clears throat> we will eventually get that. All right, so that's gonna kill you. Okay. Routing starting deck, bleh, route and starting deck does have a tendency to be kind of slow, although uh, picking up that shatter is going to help. Uh, yeah, we're absolutely going to rest and upgrade a card. Uh, this goes to 16 damage. That's going to go to 26 damage. Uh, we will upgrade one of the pierces. Decent amount of bonus damage, especially against bosses. Although, it's obviously less valuable against. Uh, are not frozen. Um, I like Shark and Grasp. I think we are cutting the Mend. I don't think we're going to need it. We're not doing a Death Run after all. Oh, no luck. All right, but this is going to be free against you. I actually kind of thought I was going to be able to kill both of them there, but no such luck. All right, now I guess... Uh, hmm. Take the Brainstorm. Upgrade uh, Shock and Grasp. Make it, it'll make it double shock thing. It'll make it even better at shocking things, which is what we want. Um, so actually the play here... We're going to do that. So we're going to redraw it. We missed out on freezing this, which is a bit annoying, uh, especially because, yeah, we know that we're not drawing stuff that we want this turn, but we can do all of this, and that's going to kill that. But if we want, I admit we weren't going to be able to freeze it, but did not end up mattering. This is pretty suspect at this point, just because we don't have access to the uh, level whatever passive that we want. I can see cutting one of the pierces. I can see cutting the magic blast. The just cutting the swift strike. Which boss are we fighting? We are fighting Lord Blossom Deck. I don't want to cut the magic boss. Let's just cut the swift strike. I mean, just too low impact of a card. Eh, it's kind of a waste of the shock, but I'll use it. Seems like a good turn to do this. Not quite double freeze, which is what I was hoping for, but that's fine. This is still depth one. So this is gonna be overall a pretty fat. We could probably play a singularity, and singularity is amazing if we can afford it. Uh upgrade the chilling focus. Cut. Um I think we can cut the magic blast. Uh we're probably good for now. Take the reroll token. Uh top half of the map. Uh hit two elites and an event. Although, I guess playing that meant that we didn't Singularity, which was kind of a mistake. Um, that's going to be 40 damage, which will kill that. But... Here we go. Uh... Yeah, that's not going to do anything for us. That's not going to matter at all, I think. Yeah. Um, we'll go ahead and use a reroll here. That's also not going to do anything, though. We'll just discard at that point. I want to spend both rerolls there. I want to test something real quick. Okay, good. That didn't use up two stacks of shock. I was worried it might because of a different bug, but it didn't. 
Maybe we should upgrade the magic blast now that I think about it. Because we're going into a fight where the AoE will be useful. Mm, that will freeze you. Oh, I should have played this first. Probably didn't need to do that, but I wanted to. And we are going to just have lethal here anyway. Um, we'll take the mind seat at this point. Scrap Blast isn't terrible. Zap also isn't the worst. But it's not terribly good either. Uh, hey, we can finally play this. Mm, bye. Also goodbye. Um, yeah, weird concentration seems okay. We're not drawing that many cards. Upgrade, uh, Magic Blast Plus is, yeah, that's probably okay. Event. All right, we, are, we only had the one rest and we already used it. All right, we get another upgrade. I like that upgrade a lot. Not that it's gonna matter. This is gonna be probably a quick fight. Um, Uh, this doesn't... We have to target that one if we want to get the kill on it. But we don't otherwise have a good AoE, so... I don't love that we are going to get detonated here, but... It's fine. We don't have any buffs to lose. That's great. Yep. Good for you. You're going to go away, because you were trying to do things. And there's this at the very bottom of the deck, which is not really where I wanted it to be. Uh, slight overkill. Well, they decided not to attack us this turn, which was probably a mistake. And goodbye. Okay. Not a huge fan of this starting deck, like I said, but that'll work. I was going to get us exactly enough to get to level 2. Um, so now we actually have the access quest. So I am going to run this quest as well in the first um, in the first video. So this is probably what the video title is going to be. is forced investigation. So we've been getting more and more reports of abnormal activity in the forest. There seems to be a new species of lore blossom that has been wreaking havoc on our adventurers. Take this trapping device and bring me back one of these strange red lore blossoms. Okay, I can do that. And we've begun. It's worth noting that this is also, we are on a beta patch. This is also kind of a uh, bug finding uh, endeavor. And we will see uh, whether or not we end up finding any bugs. All right, we're going to eat everything because that's just how I do. Um, as part of how I'm playing a this thing, though, because I want to make sure that this uh, isn't going to use any cards that you wouldn't have access to, I'm going to be going entirely... Uh, without buying any packs. If you're doing this for yourself, you should buy packs. You'll get cards that'll be useful. Um, I just am not doing that for dumb reasons. Um, I don't know that I need to go too tanky here. I could go relatively aggressive if I wanted to. Uh, direct one to the haunted memories. Hmm. I know I normally have haunted memory, but we go hunted memory here, but I don't think that's actually what I want to do. Um, take that. I'm not sure if I like this new one. Or the scattered beam has changed. It may be good now. I don't know. We're going to take a drain life. I think we take a nice blast. Um, I don't like Pierce enough. Oh, we could take a runic. I forgot this is common, and this, this actually could be good. We could go... Relatively spell heavy and run a runic focus here. So we've got heavy stand as our shield card right now. Got a runic focus. I think focus itself is going to be relatively hard to use. We will take, I think, one haunted memory. And then, so we've got a decent amount of damage from our spells. 
I wouldn't hate a second Ice Blast, I think. Um, I think we probably want a, a, a Meditate for now. And then we could go with like an Electrocute. That's probably okay. Or I could pick up uh, another Shield card, but we don't really have a ton of options for that. All right, having a Meditate. So we've got a decent amount of mana. Uh, this should be should be reasonable. We are doing this is a depth one run, so it shouldn't be too bad. Um. So we need to hit here. So we have to go right side, because uh, that's the whole point of this thing. The other thing is we do have this uh, containment sphere, which will capture any enemy. I put in two meditates. I wasn't thinking. Uh, which capture enemy with twenty or less health. Any, the, any enemy with 20 or less health, which means getting the Pokeball. Yeah, we, we need to cut one of those meditates. We don't actually need both. I just had, for some reason, my mind just did not see that we had already gotten one. Oh, goodbye. Um, hmm. Let me take the Shatter. Although, I guess we're not freezing stuff that often. Uh, da, da, da. I think I would like to have uh, an arcane you just first you and get the pokeball I realized that I should have done that slightly differently uh, to take advantage of stuff okay we can do that so we only actually need the pokeball for one of the later for one of the specific later fights the event fight but we can Pokeball things now, so... And it saves us time. See, this is the, the downside of Runic Focus, is that uh, if you don't draw any spells with it, it just doesn't do anything. But... Um. Get the Pokeball. And then... Get some damage from that. And depth one's pretty easy, huh? You need to just do whatever and think just die. It's pretty uh pretty chill. Uh do -do -do. I think we take another chilling focus. I was kinda like a little more mana. Uh oh, we'll take some powerful, sure. Uh get in the football. Sorry for this to extra enough extra damages there. No, not really. Go ahead and pop that. And now we just need one more damage. That's one more damage. Uh, just take the mine seed, I think. That seems good. It's actually pretty good because we are specifically routing. Okay. I would try and play this first um, so that I could get it out and then redraw it, but I don't actually have the mana to do that, unfortunately. If you're curious, we are absolutely going to try and put this in a Pokeball. But not quite this turn, but next turn maybe I'll Pokeball it. Alright. Get in the Pokeball. Ooh, right, this is the new art on that. That's actually pretty good, but mana font. I could have taken the singularity, but I don't think we need it. Um, upgrades. What's this upgrade to? Eight to this, this, that's fine, I guess. But I like um, Haunted Memories Plus a lot. And very flexible. Got one of the meditates. Yep, and we'll go through here. Hey, uh, Pokeball. Should have used that. Wait, did I? I must have put uh, Arcane Leak on it, which is not what I thought I had done. There we go. Um, did you see another Ice Blast? I guess. I don't hate it. Pitch. Um, or I guess I used the Infuse, probably. 
could cut the infuse. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, we could probably cut the infuse. We have the arcane infuse. Okay. As you wander through the forest, you happen upon a particularly dense thicket of mushrooms. Your artifact is pulsing slow. I don't know about mine, but yours is. It seems that your goal lies within. You squeeze through the first few mushrooms, but it's proving to be a particularly difficult endeavor. You'll need to figure out a better way to traverse this, this section of the forest. We're going to keep going slowly, squeezing ourselves through the trunks. Oh, give us a weak debuff. Eventually, the path gets easier. You happily tread forward, only to realize that you don't actually know where you are going. Everywhere you look, you only see mushrooms. Where to now? We can go left, we can go forward, or we can go right. Which one do you think has the red lore blossoms, kids? If you're at home, yell at your screen uh, which direction you think Falsifier should pick. No, that's stupid. Why would I go left? Wow. Wow. Never mind. I'm not taking advice from you guys ever again. We're going right. It's clearly, clearly that one. You keep following the red mushrooms. Before long, the majority of the mushrooms surrounding you have become red. Clearly, you're getting closer to whatever lies at the center of this thicket. Continue. You eventually reach the edge of a clearing filled with strange red lore blossoms. You've seen your fair share of lore blossoms in your days. We've killed quite a few already. We killed some giant ones last time. But nothing quite like these. What do you do? We could initiate combat from a distance, uh, condition five spell cards, or we could attack. Uh, since we're not dummies, we will take the purple option, which will start them ambushed, which will make this even easier. Remember, we do need to catch one of them. All right. I don't think it's possible for this to... Yeah, okay. I was, there was a part of me that was like slightly worried that they would somehow manage to all die on me, which would have been very obnoxious. Okay, so this one's going to get cursed, so it's effectively dead next turn, as long as it doesn't heal, which it doesn't look like it can. Um, oh. That works. So we successfully Pokeballed one of them. Uh, This is pretty good. You take a deep breath. You look at the device in your hand. It's vibrating slightly, but it seems to have functioned properly. You secure it to your belt and keep moving. And indeed, we continue. All right, we just have to make it to the end of the run. Which We still get to keep our Pokeball. It's a very cramped Pokeball at this point, though. Uh, we still have that week from the uh, whatever. Getting Pokeball. Um. Oh yeah, that doesn't quite kill it, which is annoying. All right, that does an AOE attack, which I totally remember that that end of turn attack was AOE. Because I am smart and not a big dummy. Uh. Got him. Um, is this another? Yeah, it's another giant lore blossoms. We'll absolutely take trying blast into more giant lore blossoms, especially with how many relatively expensive cards we have. Um, I'm not reading the ones that are just of random events that are just not anything. Um, hmm. Nah, I'm too lazy. Where's gonna go? Nope, we do not want the enemies to start with doom. Uh, no point in resting. We're just gonna kill them. What's that sandwich? Kills them all. Good idea. Oh man, that was great. Very happy to see that. Um, okay, so I think the plan is we do that. You get in a Pokeball. We do that. I think we Pokeballed something in every single fight. Um, I think we just apply curse. Yeah, if it's not going to help against that physical damage, help it with that physical damage. And that will pop for lethal damage. All right, victory. Not quite going to get us to level two or level three, but we completed our quest, which was our goal. Oh, and we unlocked new things in town. 
Nope, not gonna open any packs, like I said. We might buy, we will probably buy Forge Upgrades. Um, I am allowing myself to do that because of course, anybody could buy Forge Upgrades. Um, but there's no point in doing quests or worrying about bounties too much because we can't get the thing. All right, this is that text that we saw. Next step, our experts seem to think that these new lore blossoms are in fact a symptom of a much deeper issue. We'll need you to go back in the forest and make sure that there's nothing in the forest causing this. Um, I didn't mention our reward is uh, Depth 2, and then two cards, Magic Spores and Arcane Focus, which will be unlocked that we can put in our deck after that. All right. Um, I really like having Arcane Spyglass. It just is nice. But I think we are going to take Region Harness because it is convenient, and we absolutely are going to take Arcane Conductivity because that is huge. And we are left with... Okay, we do have enough gold. I guess I could have seen that. Uh, we'll take the extra rest supplies. Sure. That all seems fine. Uh, so our starter deck, we are removing one of the meditates because I did not actually mean to put in two. Uh, the running focus, I think, was a little underwhelming. I wasn't super thrilled with that, I think. Uh, the chili focus is honestly kind of underperformed as well. We do like that. Well, hmm. I don't know. I guess the running focus wasn't the worst. That's a lot. We're, yeah, we're going to go back to the Rune of Focus and we're just going to put in um, like either another Ice Blast or another Green Life. The nice thing about the Green Life is like we don't have to play them and we still get value. But Ice Blast, I think being able to freeze things is good. Um, and here we go. So we're still Depth 1, so still not too strenuous. This time, though, we just need to beat the boss, um, which you'll notice is a Red Blossom. It is a different fight. Um, as far as cards go... Uh, so, like, events, we can get one more event. If we go this direction, we also get a bunch more elite fights. Yeah, I think we're just going to go right. And we will start here. Prioritize the events just because, like, they give rewards and then we don't have to do as many fights, which is good stuff. Alright. You're going to be frozen next turn. Goodbye. Huh? I like having access to the extra growth. Um, and I don't... I, I guess Lazy Concentration is probably good. I should probably consider that, but... Eh. Too late now. Let me do that. Oh, we can't actually afford to play that. I just thought we could. Oh, I feel kind of dumb. Um, take that. Because we only hope we can do that. Oh, interesting. I, I I don't fight these guys on. I don't play Depth One basically ever, so I'm not really used to what things do on Depth One. Fuck. Um. Hmm. That's cleanse. Does damage. Just take the chilling focus. I don't think we want to cut anything. I think we're just moving on. Love a mana dance. Um, I guess I didn't realize how close this was to death, or I may have considered doing that. Although I guess the uh, scattered whatever is going to get it, so. Right, let's get up. Gonna do that first, so we can pop off the, uh, whatchamacallit. And now it's going to just die to curse, which is pretty nifty. And yeah, we'll take the Mana Dance. Eh, I should have taken the Shatter. Wasn't thinking. But too late now. Yeah, we're fine taking this fight if it... Th that has a chance of just being an upgrade. But if it's a fight, we do at least get uh, good cards out of it. So... Um, I will effectively kill that. I just want to do that, though. And then... Taking this out of the fight is just pretty nice. Um, it's always just like a little more than I need, think we need in order to get... I, I should actually, you know, count how much we're going to need to get the detonations, but, you know, counting's hard. Pop, pop. I would really think... I think I really want the other one here. Uh, and running focus has been fine. I think you can save for now. 
Cutting things takes thinking. This is depth one, we don't need to think. A sword. I absolutely, I would have just killed it if I had sequenced things properly there. And now I'm in trouble because I cannot, like that's not going to be enough to freeze it. Which is the problem with like the Ice Blast plan is that like if you do uh, let the, get to a point where the Ice Blast can't get it, you can be in trouble. Um, Twin Ritual is pretty good. Uh, that's pretty funny. It's bad with the, um, Bad with the shocking grasp, but it's good otherwise. I have to like a green shocking grasp. I kind of want to just cut a chilling focus. I think we have plenty of mana, and it's not chilling focus's fault that I I failed that one thing. Ah, this is annoying. This is one of the other events where the fight it just slows us down a bit. Okay, and now we can actually get enough mana to play this, like so. The Goon Squad is going to kill them. And this is a new formatting where it shows us what their opportunist attack is. Goon Squad assemble. Right, I like Shatter. Um, we do want to be able to get to exactly zero. There's not a great way to do that. So I'm going to do that first. Because I want that to be give us the extra damage. Goon Squad assemble. Well the Goon Squad takes forever to do their turns. This victory brought to you by the Goon Squad. That's absolutely fine. We are never hitting fatigue threshold, given how this deck is playing. Yeah, I'm lazy. I don't want removals, I want upgrades, dang it. Let's damage you. Uh, what if you died? And you only get two of the Goon Squad here, but I think that's fine. I'm just going to get the Goon Squad going. This is not going to be a long fight. I mean, most likely it's not going to be a long fight. I know that for sure, I guess. Just kidding. Um, Just take... I mean... Hmm. You only draw one when an enemy becomes frozen. I do kind of like Strang Blast. Just don't hate Zap. Just take a Zap. It seems fun. Uh, Alright. Touch the plants they move. We can go to the Caravan safely. And we will take the extra fade chance. Sure, why not? Alright. So, this guy's kind of mean. But I don't think he's a huge deal. Although, I say that. I forget about the fact he is going to mean that we, we can't really freeze him. Because of him being a jerk. this place. Right, that's going to take off one of the shocks there. And then I think the Goon Squad will be able to kill this. Yep. Which does mean... Oh, I didn't think about the fact that is an AoE attack. Our Goon Squad's just toast. Whoops. It's fine. Thinking, planning. Yeah, okay, I think our best bet is to do this. And now we unfortunately do explode, but could have been worse. Pretty good amount of mana here. 
doing that largely just to break the purity finally, which means that we can actually freeze. Like so. Pop. Pop. So close to getting that kill. But it didn't get a turn. And that 11x4 is not going to mean anything here in a moment. Goodbye. All right. So that is the last part of the actual quest. That is Depths 2 Unlocked. Um, yeah, that's all the same text we already said. So we're going to press Complete Quest. Clearly, we won't find any answers. We won't find the answers in the forest. Well, why did you send me there? I'm authorizing a new artifact for you to delve further into the ether. Report back with anything suspicious. I object. I believe that we did find answers. Um, it's just that we can't find any more answers. Um, and that's what your problem is. So we're going to report back with anything suspicious. Quest completed. Our, we have unlocked depth too, which means the minimum pool size has increased. Uh, we can now venture, in, venture into further depths to increase the amount of areas to explore. We can fight stronger foes and earn better rewards. Um, new cards unlocked. These do not have art yet because this is, like I said, a beta patch. Um, and this is, we have Magic Spores, which is a three cost skill. Apply 10 Arcane to all enemies and give all of our allies Death Spores too. Imagine if we had that with the Goon Squad. And then Arcane Focus, uh, which is two mana mana. Choose any enemy and we gain equal to 40% with mark maximum arcane, which is going to mean that initially it is two mana, we get four back. Uh, and if the enemy has been blown up enough times, it's going to be two mana, get eight back. Or if you're fighting Idol of Emptiness, which um, won't be happening in this series because we're just doing quests and there aren't any quests. There's only one quest that, uh, that involves idols at all, and it only involves White Flame Idol. Uh, but anyway, if we do that, we will gain, ma yeah, gain mana equal to 40% of its maximum arcane. Okay. So now we have one quest down. There are uh, seven more. So green here means that we can do it, uh, which I think is a little misleading. I expected that to be uh, a different color, but this big change that. So our requirement. So this is the only way that we can actually start, which only requires us to unlock the or, which is going to unlock the battered ramparts. Uh, this one we need to defeat Ether Plains. This one we need to have Depth Three unlocked. This one we need Salon unlocked and the Fed Coast defeated. Uh, so we have to want a depth three run. This one we have to defeat the Fed Coast. This one we need to have Inna at level three and have the battered ramparts unlocked. So for the next video, we are probably going to bring Inna uh, to go do Forgotten Ramparts. Uh, but that is going to be next video. Until then, toodles.